So what do we got here, Daniel? Well, this is a product called Sus Wrap. It's short for suspension wrap, and that's what it does. It was um, created by an old engineer. Um, we think that he was in uh, General Motors. We're not completely sure about that, to be honest with you, but it was a guy named Van Antwerping um, in Milwaukee. He developed this back in the 1950s, so this has been around that long for the automotive market. Uh, replacement windshields, flat packed glass, concave shaped glass or uh, aftermarket parts like doors. And so it would grab um, those unique shapes and keep it centered in the strip, wrap the perimeter so you had some perimeter protection, um, but would handle the, the thickness variation in a, in a particular width of the strip. And then after it was wrapped, it had a ton of stacking strength. So once it's suspended in this strip, it has a lot of in integrity in the carton. So if you're flat stacking boxes and stacking them up and palletizing on top, it can really hold that weight and not get to the product, thus the suspension. So, so Pizel was really the, the guinea pig in, in terms of allowing us to, to get creative with looking for a fiber-based solution for their surfboard packaging. And so we're thankful to them. They make fabulous boards, so we want to make sure we're protecting them as best we can. Something that's reusable, something that when it makes it to the consumer's home, they can choose to reuse it. Everybody has a use for some big rubber bands in their life. And again, once it gets in the case, the case is going to be doing most yeah, of the Yeah, I mean, ultimately we try to design with letting the box do the work. If the box is tight enough, it'll hold it into those slots. Flip it up that way. How'd that work? Similarly, so they're locking and that's keeping that in place. Flaps will hold everything together. So what we end up with is an extremely isolated board that has a tremendous amount of protection in its most critical points. The rails are protected, the nose is protected, the tail is protected, and the then and the faces are suspended. So when we talk about shock impacts or any kind of impacts that are going to cause uh, spider webs or crackling or damage to the surface, they're all to be protected by that surface That's protection. right. Lots of shock absorption around the full perimeter. In those corners, the filling those voids will help those not break down and look unesthetically or pleasing when they get to the, get to the consumer. The next phase of this is going to be to ship the boards across the country to Pizel in Southern California and meet them on the other side to get a good feel for how they look.